most difficult thing to get our picky eaters to eat is vegetables. Maddie, do you like vegetables? No, she already has her mind made up that she doesn't like it. But this is a great recipe because it includes lots of cheese and the broccoli gets nice and crispy, crunchy. So it really rules out a lot of the texture issues with vegetables. And we're gonna make some broccoli cheese bites. Does that sound good? You like cheese, don't you? I know you'll add this cheese to the bowl for me. Can you add that? Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. I have a package of frozen broccoli. I just did a 16 ounce package of broccoli and I steamed it in the microwave. Super simple. Already chopped, washed, ready to go for you. Two cups of cheese. You wanna add the salt? A fourth teaspoon of salt. One half cup of almond flour. And the almond flour is kind of like a breading in a recipe that kind of binds it, but it also gives a great punch of nutrition. And then one egg. And then we're just gonna stir this all together. Mommy's gonna give it a quick stir and then guess what I'll let you do? Scoop mm. it into the muffin tin. Now, one of the things I found when it came to feeding Maddie early on with kind of overcoming some of the picky eating was to use a muffin tin. I started making anything and everything I could think of in a muffin tin. And really, if you give kids a really small bite-sized portion of something, I find that it comes off way less intimidating. It's more their size and it's perfectly portioned and fun to eat. So anything that you can think of that you would make in a big pan, if you can put it in a muffin tin or even a donut pan, that's always a really great place to start. Okay, we're gonna stir this just so that the egg and the almond flour kind of gets mixed in. And that looks great. Then Maddie, I'm gonna have you take this scooper and I'm gonna have you scoop it into the muffin tin. You wanna help me? You know how to do this at home, right? Good job, all right, we're gonna get some more on there. And I'll let you squeeze it in, good job. Okay, so we're gonna fill up all of our muffin tins just until they're about full and we're gonna bake this 425 degrees for about 25 to 30 minutes. 